What's up guys, A Krishna here from the AKID channel. So in this video I'll be showing you how to create a form in HTML. So firstly you would want to open up your text editor and start off with the main tag required to create a HTML document that is a HTML tag and I've already typed in the title for my web page and here comes my heading. It will be welcome to AKA Tech. That's it, I'm done with my heading. So I'm closing the head tag. And here I just want to give the text a bigger size and change the color of the text and also give it a face style. So I'll make use of the font tag. Size will be equals to 22. Color will be equal to chattery use. And face style, okay. I do not need to type in face style, only face, okay, equals to Britannic bold. Now I'm closing the font tag. Slash font. Okay, so I do not plan to give anything big in my body so I, I just want to give a background so I, I want to make use of the body tag and type in the background attribute background equals to agent j dot jpg never forget to use the extension of the type of the image you are using so now here I just want to give a small line like fill in the form below to create your account on akat.com so I do not want to mix up this line with the head so I will make use of the paragraph tag and then fill in the form to create your account on aka I'm closing the paragraph tag so now here I want to give a color to the text here the, I want to give color to this line fill in the form to create your account on akat.com so I'll make use of the font tag once more and the color will be red okay I need to enclose it within double quotes never forget to enclose your attribute values within double quotes okay or else your attribute values won't actually work on the text that you plan to make them act upon so now here comes the main part when you want to create a form you need to make use of the form tag so I need to start the form tab here again form is a container tag okay so here again you need to actually type in various text blocks so for that you're going to use some something like input type e equals to text or input type equals to password or any other input input format for the thing which you're going to insert so here in case like your Use, uh, you're creating multiple forms in one HTML document you would want to give a name to your form that you're creating it is just a user defined name so you can give anything actually my form name will be FM1 so now here I want to give the main text the text which are actually going to indicate where to input where to enter what I want to give them a color so the color so to insert the color to applicate the color on the on the text I'll make use of the font tag once more okay so if I'm also giving it a size size will be equal to 18 and color will be equal to aqua okay I even need to enclose this with the double quotes So that's it. Now I'm in. I'm giving. A, I'm giving. I'm specifying the text where the box 
is going to be there so it's like you a username I'm going to write username and then I'll specify the input type so firstly I want to give something like a login heading so I'll make use of the h1 tag the uh, h1 is actually the level of heading it's there h1 is like the main the the biggest most size in the heading level it actually specifies the level of heading and I want to align this login word into the center so I'm going to make use of this center tag so uh, here I need to type in login and close the center tag I had told you about nesting of tags right whenever I'm using the h1 tag and center tag the last tag ha I have used well, while starting it should be the first tag that I, I will end so now here I even need to end my h1 tag so now I'm going to make the text that I'm entering so that is the username the username word and then your email ID and all the stuff in bold and also in italics so I'm making use of the B and I tag they stand for bold and italics respectively and now I'll type in the word username these will be showing up in italics and bold so that's it again next a uh, nesting of tags is being used over here so here to to display a box a text box over there I need to make use of the input type tag okay so here I need to type in input tag in the new tag I have started input type equals to text okay here text needs to be enclosed within double quotes so similarly I'll type in for mail ID and re-enter your mail ID okay so here I have typed in all the uh, thing which I want to display for your email ID and re-enter your mail ID so now coming to password okay so first me let me just put in the bold and italic tags and here I'll type in password so here whenever I want to make the text box suitable for password whenever you're actually creating a mail ID you don't see your password right it, it is uh, the the text that you're inputting actually gets masked with the asterisk symbol so to that to show up you need to make use of the input type called password okay so here we need to type in input type equals to password okay so similarly if you want to enter another box like re-enter your password do the same thing. so here I have typed in another line for re-enter your password so that's it I'm now done with my form okay so firstly I have used the font tag right so I need to close the font tag first and now I need to close the form tag and now I need to close the body tag And, now, and then I need to close the HTML tab because I'm done with my uh, done with creating my HTML document so now save as type in the file name that you will to enter I'll type in a k a t 0 1 .html never forget to give the .html extension whenever you're creating a html document and change the save as type to all files I'm saving it onto my desktop because that is where my background image is present so save
so now just minimize or close your text editor I'm just minimizing it now here we see the web page that we have created just double click on it to open my background image that I have used so here it opens up it, yeah, uh, this is my wallpaper that I have inserted. It tells welcome to aka tag. Fill in the form to create your account on akat.com. Log in, username, bo uh, it, it, is it is displaying a box. Your email ID, it is displaying a box. Re enter your mail ID. Password, re enter your password. Okay, guys, so that's it. So I'll be making one more short video on how to insert the submit, reset buttons into your form that you're creating. So for this video that's it thank you for watching guys if you like the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to watch many other upcoming videos and this video was also in HD as I as I had told you in my previous video okay guys thank you peace